It is considered to be one of the most complicated preservation projects in the country. And tonight we are sharing with you some of the breathtaking shots taken today from inside the newly renovated Richardson Olmsted complex. After nearly three years of construction, phase one of a $100 million redevelopment project at one of Buffalo's most historic landmarks is complete. And in 31 days, the doors to Hotel Henry will open. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore shares more with us on this transformation. Two and one. It's a celebration of rebirth for these historic Buffalo buildings. People love this building. This is really one of Buffalo's um, great iconic buildings. Phase one, a redevelopment at the Richardson Olmsted campus is near completion. Owners are working to turn three of the 11 buildings into an 88 room hotel, restaurant and event space. We put in all new mechanical systems. We redid the windows. We modernized a 100 50 year old building while at the same time keeping the historic features. Both state and private funds are making this project a reality. New York is pumping a whopping $76 million, also giving the Richardson Center a $16 million historic tax break on the site. Oh my gosh, yeah, I mean, we have a strategy around tourism, so we're obviously investing in our tourism assets, and this is a significant tourism asset. Millions went toward reviving the building, replacing windows and elevators. We had limited access to the building today, but owners are planning to have it ready for business by the end of April. It will be an amazing facility that will draw people to uh, Buffalo from across the nation. What a perfect epicenter to drive tourism in Buffalo and Western New York. In Elmwood Village, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.